Hey guys, it's Heli and in today's video, I'm sorry in advance for taking a dig at celebrities, nothing personal, just for the sake of humor. And I'm gonna tell you guys about some books after reading which you may not have expressions like these. A lot of people asked me, where do you stand, Heli? Do you support this? Do you uh, dislike this? And I have two things to say. Number one, if you are judging someone just by how they are posing, it is problematic in some ways. If they are smiling with a book does not necessarily mean they have not read the book. But the second thing is that celebrities do not promote a reading culture. When celebrities use books, most of the times they are using books as props, as something that makes them look cool. And this is seen in several influencers as well. If you want to follow someone who genuinely promotes reading culture, Ayushman Khurana is the person. So if you are judging these people just because they don't practice what they preach, I mean, celebrities have been doing that for ages. Do you really expect Shah Rukh Khan to bathe in Lux and use Fair and Handsome? Probably not. But you still love him, you still watch him and no one has gone like crazy about it. These days, people get offended really easily as well, honestly. So that is something I've observed about the society these days. Like even the minutest of things are sparking outrages. Um, and I'd love to know about your thoughts on the same. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's get into today's video where I'll tell you about the books that will make you cry, even if you're not Neha Kakkar. By the way, I love Neha Kakkar's songs mostly. Now, without any further ado, let's get into today's video. All the books that I'm going to talk about in today's video have links in the description below, and you can also listen to them as audiobooks. A free trial link will be in the description below. Now, the first book that I want to talk about is the latest book that I have read, and it's called The Ten Loves of Nishino by Hiromi Kawakami. This is a Japanese book. It has been translated, and it's a delicious book to read if you want to read about love stories from a very unique unique angle. What I find very interesting about this book is that uh, the character of Nishino, whose 10 loves this book talks about, this book is written from the perspective of all the 10 girls that he fell in love with or he claimed to love or the girls who claimed to love him. But the seriousness of the term love really lacks in this book and it really reflects the current society of how we have trivialized such an intense term to like something very degrading and some of the parts in this book are actually very disturbing i would not recommend it for anyone under 18. Um, the titular character nishino is a curious guy and you never listen to the story from his point of view it's only everyone else's point of view and i guess that's really important our character is only half of who we think we are but to the outside world it's who they think we are and sometimes there is a disconnect with between the two so that is something i find very fascinating about this book and lastly what i really want to mention about this book is that it is deeply reminiscent of nine chambered heart i'm not sure which one was written first but if you liked nine chambered heart you will love the 10 loves of nishino the next book I'll recommend would be Black Beauty. Black Beauty is written by Anna Sewell and it was one of the first books that I ever read in my fifth standard. It's about a horse as is evident from the cover but it really made me cry and it really made me feel a lot for animals. The story of this horse will make you cry and I can guarantee that and if you decide to read this book I can promise you it's going to leave you in a lot of tears. It's a really sad book and uh, I just do not recommend it if you are deeply attached to animals because in that case it's going to hurt you on a whole different level. The next book is of course The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. It is Anne Frank's diary and it really talks about life during the Holocaust uh, from a Jew's point of view and this is a young girl and what is very exciting about this book is that despite being so young her language was so beautiful if she lived she would probably have been like one of the best writers of all time sadly tragedies like these erase so many beautiful talents from the face of the earth and uh, the world does not develop to its full potential which is why while there is still time we should work towards building a better society for ourselves and for our peers the next book I'll recommend is A Little Life. It's a four story about four students and this is a recommendation from subscriber to subscriber. If you are watching my channel for some time, you know that in almost all my videos, I recommend a book that has been recommended by a lot of my subscribers in the comment section so that you guys can also have a conversation with each other. Of course, you can engage in the comments too, but A Little Life is one of those, those 
very very popular books it's a really fat book i've not re finished reading this yet so yeah th that's another reason why i featured this a lot of you think that i read a lot and i've read each and every book on the face of the planet but that's clearly not the case i have failed at reading this book so far but i really want to finish reading this someday but everyone who's re read it they tell me it's a depressing sad and emotional read so i really feel that it would be a good book to recommend to you in this video the next book i'll recommend is a thousand splendid sons by Khaled Husseini this is the book that was featured in that particular photo so yes this is a definitely a very sad book it talks about the Taliban rule in uh, Afghanistan and how the lives of women specifically changed a lot due to them I read this book when I was in the 11th standard and I remember staying up the whole night because I started it around 9 p.m. I was awake till 4 a.m. in the morning because I could not put this down I just couldn't put it down and when I was done reading I cried till 6 I could not go to school the next day of course um, so this is definitely a book that you need to read it talks really well about female bondings female friendships and the life of people under oppression and how there's still a little bit of hope that keeps you going on no matter what the circumstances this book really captures the essence of human life very well in the face of adversity and i think that is something really precious about this book another very emotional read would be this is how you lose her by yuna diaz this follows the life of Junior and his several affairs. This book can be read both as a novel and a short story collection. Just the protagonist is the same in each and every story. Um, all of them have something to offer, some new, new perspective on love and life in general. And I find it really, really sad. I don't think it'll make you cry, but it will definitely make you really sad because I'm pretty sure that love is one of those feelings that all of us have experienced. Like it is you know at the core of human existence so if you've been in love or if you are in love you'll definitely enjoy this book very very much next book i'll recommend is norwegian word by haruki murakami murakami is one of my favorite authors and the best book for beginners to start with murakami because i guess a lot of you know murakami is one of the most recommended uh, authors of all time so if you want to read him definitely pick this book up it is very beginner friendly it talks about the life of three friends one of whom commits suicide at right at the beginning of the book and how it affects the people who remain and the essence that suicide never really ends but it's just passed on from one person to another is one of the central themes of the book also there's a you know strange sense of death and winter throughout looming throughout this book so I find that very very brilliant um, Murakami is one of my favorite authors of all time and if you read this book you will understand why a lot of people do not like the ending of this book and I'd love to have a conversation with you if you've read this book already or if you plan to read this book about the ending right in the comment section next book I'll recommend is Fault in Our Stars by John Green who does not know about this book when this book came out it spread like wildfire it was wildly popular and when I read it it was so hyped up that I did not like it that much but that doesn't change the fact that this book will make you cry this book talks about two cancer patients who fall in love in this book love blooms in an environment of death which is one of the most unique things about this book um i don't think john green has written any book better than the fortina stars honestly i've read a couple of a um, couple more of his books but i really admire john green as a person and as a teacher very very much fortuna stars is one of those cult reads and you definitely have to read it if you want to be considered as a young adult reader my next recommendation is nausea by john paul sartre i love this writer so much he's one of the most original thinkers of all time and when every time i read this book I, so every time i'm sad and i want to get more sad i'll open this book up typical heli everything that is written in this book has a gloomy atmosphere even when the author is looking at a crowd he says they must make a sad little group around the gas lamp just under my window i mean when you look at people have you ever thought like that that they look like a sad little group um, I have honestly but it was only after reading this book that I could put that feeling into words like when you travel via like public transport I guess you've noticed like people look really really sad do you have any idea why I'd love to know in the comment section below before we move on to any other subject let me move on to my next recommendation and this is my sister's keeper I have recommended this book many times on my channel in this book the younger sister is constantly compromising for the health of her elder sister and she decides to sue her parents for making her do that and one of the central questions of this book is 
our parents really like gods and especially if you've grown up in india we are taught to respect elders and parents like gods we are taught that we can never question them whereas sometimes we actually know things better than our, than our elders better than our parents and i guess that is one of the biggest reasons why this book got so popular because it gave young children teens a voice the ability to think that parents can be wrong so i guess that is one of the important things about this book but this is actually a family drama as well so if you want to read it definitely you should the ending is really shocking like it was like going like this and suddenly it's like this so yeah it it is amazing i had kept my most amazing recommendations for the last so i'll end with the boy in striped pajamas by john boyen you've heard me talk about this book i have a review of this book on my channel so definitely watch it if you want to know about it in depth but this book gosh make sure that you are well hydrated before you start reading this because it is going to make you cry so much so yeah guys that will be all the book recommendations that i had in today's video i hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure that you give this video a big fat thumbs up something that i really really want to tell you guys today is my exams are coming up so If you see that I'm being very active on Instagram, please scold me. Feel free to scold me <laughs> because I really have no self-control. But uh, the good thing is that finally, after these examinations, I'll be done with college life, and I can't wait. So yeah, that's uh, all the updates, uh, extra updates that I had from my side. I hope that you're having a good week and you have a great weekend. I'll see you with another video next week. Till then, bye bye.